Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with you. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another New Park beer. I am so pumped for this one. Uh, this is Spectrum Double IPA, 8% alcohol by volume. New Park is in West Hartford, Connecticut, and this label art is amazing. Um, we reviewed Headband from New Park, and that beer was fire. And I feel like when I uploaded that review, a lot of people are as excited about that brewery as I am. Um, so I got a couple messages from people going, hey, if you wanna check out some other New Park, let me know, we can figure something out. So thanks to my man, Jeremy, uh, we get to review another New Park beer. Uh, this was canned on February 21st, so today is March 9th. This is the tw <laughs> 21st anniversary of when Biggie Smalls was killed. 21 fucking years, that's insane to me. Uh, gross. So, um, yeah, 8% double IPA. I don't know the hops of this one, um, but Headband was amazing. Jeremy said he really liked this beer, so um, <laughs> I can't imagine it being a bad beer after. what. Head and Headband, when we drank that, it was like six weeks old. This is three weeks old. So let's get into it. That beer is like a pineapple color. It's super hazy, though. Their can art's cool. The headband one was cool. Again, though, with this one, um, the head is not sticking around. Uh, it's it's actually really murky, but it's that kind of, I don't know, super hazy, uh, like a, I don't know, gold kind of pineapple color. It's, seriously, the head is gone. What did someone say? If they brew with a lot of oats, that happens. There's not a lot of head retention. It is gone. He gone. Uh, it was an off-white. Didn't stick around. 8%. Should we swirl this and see if there's some glass lacing? It's leaving like that, like, murky, sticky film. There's alcohol leaks. It's hazy. It's New England style. So let's go ahead and chove our nose in it. Wow, this reminds me of a monkish beer. This has an awesome, like, dankness to it. But this has a lot, there's like a lot of just, it's heavy citrus. Um, tons of like orange peel, tangerine. There is though, there's this killer like green herbal, it's not grassy, but it's just think just sticky resinous like hop matter. This almost reminds me of um, like if you, you guys who have had like the double dry hopped really fresh like Trillium beers, it's going to sound weird because it's going to sound bad, but it's not a bad thing. So when I had Headroom for the first time two years ago, I think, um, the first can that I had, it was so like hop saturated. And when we drank it, it kind of like, you had that like astringent kind of hop burn. That almost smells like that, if that makes any sense. You guys know me though. I love, <laughs> I like intensely hoppy shit. Unless it's like never and again, like that mango stuff or like it, really like heartburny. I like people call it hop astringency. I like really, really intensely hopped beers and this smells like that. This does, this reminds me of like a Trillium or a Monkish, like a really, like a double dry hopped, the way that those beers smell. We said the 21st, gosh, I wonder if this is, I don't know if this is, it doesn't say double dry hopped. <laughs> it is, the nose of this is crazy. It is really, really intense. So. Let's go ahead and taste it. Jeremy, cheers. Thank you, sir. <laughs> if you like hops, boys and girls, you would want to swim in this. Holy shit. That's crazy. This is a beer I've been watching uh, Darwin do some reviews recently. And I feel like, and I... I think I mentioned this in one of his videos. His palate, I think, is getting kind of sensitive to like that really intense like hop astringency. He doesn't like it as much these days. I don't think he would like this beer. This beer is really fucking over the top hoppy. Wow. There's this crazy, think of like, honestly, think of putting hops in a blender with like fresh cut orange and like pineapple slices and just blending it up and just having it be so intense, super green, dank, crazy like herbal, just all that like hop juice <laughs> mixed with like oranges and pineapples. That's the best that I can describe that. It is leaving like, 
it's not a burn, but it's like this tingling on my tongue. It's that intensely hoppy. This is fire. I like stuff like this. I can't believe, so this is an 8% beer. What was the beer that we had? It was, I wanna say it was over 9% recently and it was nowhere near this. This is crazy. It, it is, it's just resinous as fuck, wow. I guess I wasn't expecting that because Headband, I, I thought I, I'd have to go back and look. I remember that being like really intensely juicy, but again, maybe, I mean, this is three weeks. Maybe if I would have let it sit for another three weeks, it would have kind of mellowed out into that. This is just in your face, like punch you in your tongue with hops. I like this. This is one of those, it's a good combination of New England and West Coast. Damn, you guys in Connecticut, we, I, and I was talking to people who were commenting on that video. I mean, if you can't make it to Treehouse, just drink all of this. And a lot of people were saying, like, people they had seen in the Treehouse lines from, you know, back when are all lining up for these beers now. And it makes sense. This is crazy. Um, it's not as balanced as, like, this isn't, <laughs> if you're one of those new money juice guys, this is not the beer for you. Um, if you're like from the older school, like when people were hopping the shit out of IPAs and you still like that, this is for you. I think people on the West coast would really, really like this beer. It's that intense. Mouth feels fire. This beer is really, really good. Ninety-eight, fucking awesome. I love this. I'm going to look up what hops are in there. It is. It's crazy. Like it is so. I know I keep saying it. It's hops and pineapples and oranges mixed together. Crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. New Park. You guys are real deal. This is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, that is, what is it called? Spectrum, right? Yeah, Spectrum Double IPA. Fantastic stuff. Uh, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. You folk in Connecticut are stoked. This beer is awesome. So, I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.